Goemon is extremely popular in Japan. It's part of the Gambate Goemon series. Uh, it's not as popular here in the States or really anywhere in the West as a whole, but it's not bad. In this game, there's a summoning machine that uh, was basically stolen by one of the villains in the series, and the summoning machine can bring people back to life. This game is a true 2.5D platformer. It plays with perspective. It has a health system. It has a money system. Every character has a projectile. Goemon has a double jump. The weapons can get upgraded in time. And on top of all that, there are different vehicles that you get, and I'll hopefully have one of those soon. This also has one of the more enjoyable co-op modes that you'll ever play, because everyone gets access to another moveset when they jump on someone else. You can crouch and go like that, and you can actually jump on somebody's shoulders and they'll give you a piggyback ride. All right, our first vehicle, everybody. So those little cats that I keep getting, those uh, level up my weapon. And if I get hit, I lose my level up. So in Goemon, there are all of these uh, town areas as well. And... Oh no, I didn't put it in front of the widgets. In this game, you have to go through and collect these things called entry passes. And the entry passes you use to get to later areas of the game. Um, they're sort of like collecting 70 stars or 120 stars to get further into, like, Super Mario 64. But here, you get entry passes. And there are different ways to give it, to get it. They're very strange. This is, uh, Iguana Man. Which is based on uh, Japanese tradition. Like, there's so much weird stuff here. We're gonna go back now and get a little further. Oh, that's right. This game also has a day-night cycle. So, certain enemies appear during day. They don't appear at night and vice versa. In general, I think the game's a little easier at daytime. Also, I want it to be known that when I talk about how this would be a game that I would speedrun, it is not because I am good at this game. It is because I love this game. Bully, 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 bully. Please be over. Thank goodness. Okay, I made it. Alright, let me switch back to Goemon here, because I actually need a weapon that he has, that only he is able to use. Alright, a first class room. Restores health. And now you get to see a naked N64 model, everybody. <laughs> ah. It only gets better. Trust me, it only gets better. No! <laughs> Tomba! That's the word. That's the word. Oh yeah, so here it is. Here's the game over screen. Now just watch what happens when I hit try again. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have five checkpoints, or five entry passes, we can go and take on the first, uh, first castle. And again, the castles are kind of like the boss areas of this game. So that is our giant robot impact. He is a star of the, uh, Goemon series. 
but he is currently attacking the castle. And this song's a banger too. Interesting seeing a game that uses money like this. Yeah, it's a really cool system. It uh, it kind of just, in my opinion, it just eliminates the need for extra, s like, it cuts off so much fat to just give you a legitimate game experience. One of the reasons I play as Goemon is he has a double jump. It doesn't give you a lot more height, but it does give you a little bit of safety and security. Like, you don't have to be quite as precise, which is much appreciated. And I want to remind everybody, yes, this is a boss fight, but it's technically only level four. This is the fourth stage that you go through. So now we've gotten a little further up, and now we have to start dealing with the fists of our robot. Now the music starts to change. Boss time. On the roof of our robot. The she she scarecrow. Goemon's Great Adventure is kind of a fever dream when I think about it. Yes! And now we get... 60 FPS for some reason. But that is not the final boss, believe it or not, of this castle. I've completed my latest robot. So, we now have one giant robot, two giant robots. Why would they give us these giant robots? I can't even keep my giant grin in. Robot fight! Here are your controls, by the way. This is all they tell you. This is all they tell you. Why does punching hearts give you money? No one knows. Yep, then we have G-Kick. Delicious attack, B-B-B-A. Any of this, it does the full enemy. And then, you have your blast beam. And you physically pass a baton to it. There are some attacks that you can only dodge by doing that. We got ourselves a win, everybody. So again, just on top of everything else that they managed to throw into this game. They threw that.
Nice shot. Whoa. 